Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So I want to look at another name of God. Now remember, we're looking at the names of God. They're really more like characteristics of God, but it's just to let us know more about God, who He is, His role towards us, and us and our role towards Him. I think these names or these descriptions, these characteristics, really give us a better grasp on who God is to us. So, I want to look at Aloha. Now, you can see on the screen it's spelled E-L-O-A-H. It's Aloha. That's the best pronunciation I'm going to do. I'm sure someone who really speaks in those Hebrew would make fun of me. That's okay. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that. So, but the English for this is God. So many of these names we translate to God. And that's just the way it's going to be. But there are different names, and they have slightly different characteristics or meanings. Not that they don't mean God, but just in the way they are describing God. So, for this one, you can see where I have the, the Hebrew. I'm not even going to attempt to do anything with that, but that is the Hebrew characters. Uh, the transliteration, I'm not sure that I see a difference in those two, but the the uh, interlinear Bible that I'm using showed these two different, as if they're two different things. They look the same to me. Same with the phonetics. They look basically the same to me, but maybe language, maybe to a, a true language scholar, they look slightly different. I, I didn't see a difference. Nonetheless, a good example of this. Now, let me back up for a second. Aloha is used about 50 times in the Bible. And I think they say about 40 of those times are in Job. However, there's a couple of examples from Psalm. I'm going to have this example from Psalm. And then I will also have an example from Job. But in Psalm 18, verse 31, I'm not doing the whole Psalm. I'm looking at just verse 31, which has our example. For who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock except our God. Now, Aloha is the first God in this verse, where it says, for who is God, that is, Aloha, for who is Aloha, except the Lord, and the Lord is Yahweh, and who is a rock except our God, and here they use the word Elohim, which we'll get into that later. But that first example for who is God, who is Aloha, the use here in this verse, it is referring to God as deity, the only deity, the one who we can trust and rely on. There is no other. It is talking about for who is God, who is deity, who is like God, no one, right? That's the idea. For who is Aloha, who is deity, except Yahweh, except the Lord, and who is a rock except our, and this is saying our God. So, the example from Job is, is a different example. Now, Job is a different book, so it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit different. This is Job chapter 3, verse 4. May that day... Job is cursing the day he's born. This is after all the bad things have happened to him. So I want you to understand the context in which Job is saying this. He's talking about the day of his birth and basically cursing that and wishing he had never been born because of all the things that had happened. Now, I'm not going to go through all of Job, but there was a lot of bad things that happened to Job. Job chapter 3, verse 4, May that day be darkness. May God above not seek it, nor the light shine upon it. Here, like I said, Job is regretting being born and, you know, basically saying, let God, and that's Aloha, that's Aloha. In other words, let the deity, let God above, the God in heaven, not care about that day. It says not seek it. Some translations will say not care about that day. And I think under this context, that makes a lot of sense. So Aloha 
is referring to God as deity, as the deity, not like there's any other, just like God is the God. He is the only one. Our language, we really only have a couple of words, like we have God, and that means God. Um, so it's kind of hard for us to relate to the fact that Hebrew has some multiple words that refer to God in slightly different ways. So that is just something that I'm trying to go over and kind of express here so that we can see some of these characteristics, and I hope that is helpful and encouraging to realize and to note and just, you know, he's making a distinction here in that God is the deity. He is the one. So he is the God in heaven and there is no other. So we will continue on with some different names later, but I want to thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you and keep you safe. May Eloah, the God in heaven, bless you and keep you safe. And remember, He loves you.